ますか Damn, that was a Yakuza side quest of an episode, and I loved every bit of it. I loved seeing Shoma interacting with Sujimoto, with Shoma being the nice little boy that he is, he wants to repay Sujimoto for giving him food, while Sujimoto teaches him a very important lesson, don't eat candies all the time and you wouldn't pass out. The thing is, Sujimoto was once in Shoma's shoes, on the streets, looking for some jobs. How much, again, Shoma could have stayed with a money, but he decided to leave in last week's episode. How much, yeah, if you think about it, it kind of makes sense, but still, it's a job that you can have and get money and like free food, that, that's nice. But the difference is, Sujimoto kind of fell into the life of trouble. I did love that Tsujimoto's like entire ideal of like hey he wants to repay for the man that saved him and gave him a job the problem is it seems that the factory that he works at I think he's supposed to be a factory worker doesn't really pay him a lot because hey, it seems that the factory is going to be closed down so he decides so Tsujimoto decides to return to a life of crime and try to rob people with using Shoma and his super twink strength abilities but Shoma is smart and he understands that hey stealing is bad and Shoma kind of tries to teach him to pretty much say hey don't you think that you know the person that gave you this opportunity wouldn't like to get money from you that you stole like he's already gotten enough because you are working for him like it's pretty much you are being disingenuous to the person that saved you pretty much which was actually like really fucking good for Shoma's character which shows that he's not that like naive little kid he's more than that but Tsujimoto doesn't really see it so he pretty much yells that he regrets that he ever saved Shoma and just left him to to pretty much pretty much being led to a trap by the grenade of the week which i do like that we actually got not only this week but also last week kind of like the explanation of the specific taste of the cat of the dark candies which now i think it was fully explained that in the moment where a human gets captured the taste of the candy would change it would pretty much like happy people would taste better than just people that are sad Sad or even worried like that's really cool that's a nifty little like fin I liked it but luckily Sujimoto got saved by Shoma by Shoma beating the Grenut with the powers of the Zets of Soda Gummy Arm and in the end I actually quite liked seeing uh, Sujimoto pretty much being this side character that got a small little arm from pretty much like a semi of like, oh look at me, I'm a tough badass fuck to hey, I'm a human. I can have multiple ranges of emotion and I would cry because I feel sad that I couldn't help the person that pretty much dragged me out of a really bad situation. And it is kind of cool that he called Shoma Nissan. Now that's that's nice. Like it it, it was a nice touch. While we're finally getting more people recognizing Gov and even the people of the city calling him Kamen Rider while Shita and Jeep recognized that he has a red Gav once more the red Gav seems to be a big fucking plot point while Hanto is finally moving the plot along with at least his plot along with him being super excited about more and more people discovering and starting to believe the things about the Grenuts. 
being a Finn and the common Rider. I did really like that the first person that actually believed him, at least in that story, was his mentor. Which, now it's like, super fucking obvious. The mentor is clearly the Wolf Granute. Come on! Like, he even maybe, like, slowly and slowly tried to pull him out of the situation and out of the investigation. It's like, ah, oh, you don't need to, you don't need to get in those dicey situations, come on! It's like, oh, oh, you are very much not obvious with this one. He's clearly the bad guy here. I am just saying. But I did really like seeing more of Hanto and seeing him kind of like going around and thinking about who can Gav be. While also we discovered that he actually used Amane's uh, services, which at first I thought he was a handyman, but now it's kind of like, hey, I would just help anyone, which is like, that's a real handyman. And I did weirdly love that they're just like, hey, Hunty, how are you doing, Hunty? And it's like, Hanto is like, fuck you, you call me my mister, we're not friends, it's like, you use our services like three times, we're friends, it's basically written into the contract, I don't give a shit. Well, hey, the, the girl that got captured la in last week's episode is also back, which is like, wow, that's super nice. It's almost like the, the show really cares about building the world that the characters live in by using the characters to build the world. That's neat. How much it was kind of weird that she pretty much talked about that entire situation like it was a fucking joke. The like, yeah, guy got captured, it was kind of slimy, but hey, that Gav dude is fucking hot. And at least he got front row seats to that uh, Gav fight. That was cool, and I didn't like that at first. And I did like that he's kind of a bit of a racist. It's a weird thing to say, but he kind of believes that Shoma slash Gav is a human because he believe because he fights the monsters. So it would be interesting to see him realizing like, oh no, the hero that fights for humans and fights to protect us is actually one in the same as the villain group. It will be kind of interesting to see him learn and actually adapt to that entire situation. While, to the biggest surprise of the episode, we get introduced to a brand new character, Kenzo, a researcher that actually researched the Grenut. And like everybody that knows about the Grenut's biology, he's super fucking horny about that fucking red gav. He came along to the same alley as Hanto, so pretty much it's like both of them are trying to ask Gav questions and they pretty much kind of starts they start bickering and Shoma is kind of like, okay, I'm just gonna head out and just heads out and it led to pretty much Hanto and Kenzo in an alley started to talking about uh, the Grenutes to end this episode. This was really interesting, specifically Kenzo, the first time we actually like saw him, not at least face was, but at least his body, we saw him stealing uh, both of the chocolate gochizo, which one of them Hanto does use for uh, transforming into his common rider form, which kind of leads to the big question of, okay, would Kenzo actually create it, would create for him the transformation device? which kind of appears to be the thing that's going to happen. I am really interested in seeing more of Kenzo and now knowing that the lab that is presented in the intro is his. It's going to be kind of interesting and it's going to be kind of interesting to discover is he a Grenut or he's just a human that knows about the Grenuts. Are the Grenuts, once more, I'm, I'm sticking to my theory, they're just modified humans. But yeah, I truly believe episode number three is the strongest episode out of right now the first three weeks of the show. This one gets an S. So, what you thought about Kamarade Gav episode number three? Comment below, let me know. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked it, please press that like button. And also, if you haven't still helped your subscribe button achieve his gacha being a subscribed button please do it smash that fucking subscribe button and thank you very much and have a great rest of your day bye bye